Well, this made headlines last week when it was revealed Desmond Tutu wasn't cremated, he was aquamated. It's a new type of end of life decision that uses water instead of fire. And it's supposedly more environmentally friendly. Well, it turns out a state lawmaker was already crafting a bill to make that legal in Arizona. Fox 10 Steve Nielsen joins us live now in Mesa with more. Steve. Yeah, this funeral home that's right behind me here, just off Main Street here in Mesa, they say people have been asking about aquamation. So they're hoping state regulations will change so that they can start to offer this as an option. When the funeral home approached Representative Michelle Udall about alkaline hydrolysis, she said she'd never heard of it. After they explained the process, I didn't see any reason that we should stop people from doing that if that's how they wanted to take care of their loved ones after death. Alkaline hydrolysis or aquamation is a new type of cremation that's already legal in many states. Instead of fire, it uses water in a metal vessel like this. Bryce Bunker with Bunker Family Funerals and Cremations gives us a breakdown of how it works. It's about a 95% water solution, a 5% alkali solution, which is not acidic. It's, it's the inverse of that, um, typically a, a sodium or potassium. And they're placed in that vessel and with uh, gentle heat and some gentle movement of the water, uh, the process of, uh, that, our natural, that our body naturally goes through when we pass uh, it takes place in about three or four hours. The family will still receive ashes in an urn, just like a cremation. That means those ashes can still be stored or spread as a family sees fit. So all of the same, same options would be available to a family, but how those cremated remains come to be cremated remains uh, is what the difference between uh, cremation and alkaline hydrolysis is. The process has been credited with being more eco-friendly too, creating 35% of the same greenhouse gases as a typical cremation and using 90% less power. And I asked Rep Udall what some of her colleagues feel about this up at the Capitol. And she said everyone she's spoken to about it had never heard of it before, so it might take some time to spread the word about what this process is. Reporting live in Mesa, Steve Nielsen, Fox 10 News.